I spent the most of my childhood outdoors. I would like to let my children have the opportunity to have the same enjoyment. If we want to have that continue, we have to sustain our world. The population by 2050 is expected to reach over 9 billion people here on Earth. What that means to agriculture is that we got to double production. How are we going to do this? One possibility is bringing more land into production. But that's really not a viable option because when you bring land into agricultural production, it has a bigger impact on the environment. Or you could have an acceleration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Through precision agriculture methods, we can utilize drone technology or help optimize production. So we'll use something like the Matrice 100 and go fly a field and assess these problem areas in the field and optimize for what's happening this season at this particular soil, this particular spot, and provide the most optimum nitrogen recommendation that will not only increase yield, but on reduced inputs. So where does the world benefit from this? The farmer produces more yield, which gives the world more food, but then he also had less input, so that reduces environmental impact and plays into the sustainable agriculture that we are looking for. I think farmers in general have a strong sense of connectedness to the land. The drone technology gives us that precise information and is going to allow us to better characterize what's happening from a spatial standpoint and then also what's happening to the individual plants. In our operation, the use of drones has helped us tremendously. We used to have to walk our fields. Now, drone technology gives us data back virtually immediately. It saves us a tremendous amount of time. There's a number of different technologies that I'm utilizing to create new tools for farmers. The DJI XT offers immense potential to where we can now start integrating thermal imagery so we can get additional data angles to find out the problems in the field. In the past, to predict what our nitrogen use would be, we would take soil samples, then we would also try and come up with an estimate of what our target yield would like to be. So where we may have over fertilized in the past, now we'll know exactly what that crop is going to need. And so that is going to be a big saving for the environment. What we really need to look to is improving agriculture for tomorrow. And here at Kansas State University, we teach multiple classes dealing with precision agriculture. Its sole goal is to train the next generation so we can constantly be evolving in our advancements. We really need to increase our yields to be able to feed the growing population. So the work that we're doing here, all in all, I feel is going to be vital to agriculture in the future. When these students become professionals 20, 30 years down the road when they're finishing their careers, what we call precision agriculture today will just be normal agriculture tomorrow.